Hi folks, welcome to my devotional, A Proverb A Day. Today we'll be looking at Proverb chapter 1 and verse 7. And I've titled this, Wires Up. I'll be using the SOAP acrostic method of devotional, which is S for scripture, O for observation, A for application and P for prayer. SOAP washes you clean, so too does the word of God spiritually. So let's read Proverbs chapter 1 verse 7. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, but fools despise knowledge and wisdom. So what observations can we make? Well, firstly, we need to remind ourselves that Proverbs is portrayed by Lady Wisdom, and she's this smart teacher who wants to teach us and lead us, help us and guide us into godly wisdom, good old fashioned common sense, to help us live the good life in this world. She teaches us that there are choices to be made and wise choices lead to good rewards and bad choices lead to the consequences of those foolish choices. She also wants to teach us that this wisdom begins with a fear of the Lord. Now this isn't some kind of cringing fear. This is simply a reverential fear of God with a childlike attitude or what is called filial fear, a childlike fear. It's one in which a child doesn't want to disappoint its father, so it does its best to do what is right. An example of this would be my son Carl when he was a child, and sometimes mm -hmm, he would do things that were wrong or say things that were wrong, and I would have to correct him and I would say, Carl, I'm really disappointed in what you've just done or said. And his bottom lip would quiver and he'd probably start to cry and he would say he was sorry and I'd pick him up in my arms and say, it's all right, I forgive you, but don't do those things. And then the relationship was restored and we'd carry on as before. With God, I don't think I really need to hear him say he's disappointed in me because if I've done something wrong, I'm already disappointed with myself and I know that I, he would be so disappointed too with what I've done and I would immediately say sorry and repent and the relationship would be restored. Now how is this going to be applied in our lives? Well let me remind you that the story of Solomon can be found in 1 Kings chapter 3 verse 3 to 14 and how he obtained wisdom God said to him. What would you like to have? I'll give you anything you ask for. And Solomon asked for wisdom so that he could rule as a good, wise king. But he could have asked for absolutely anything. Gold, riches, silver, splendid clothes and all his enemies defeated. But God gave him the wisdom and he gave him all these other things as well. So that is what I'd call a wise move. So we want wisdom. We want to use wisdom daily. Now, how do we get this? Well, James tells us that if we need wisdom, we've just got to ask God for it. Well, that sounds simple. So let's read what James says, and then we'll apply this through prayer. So James chapter one, verse five, and I'm reading in the Passion Translation simply because I like it. And he says, and if anyone longs to be wise, ask God for wisdom and he will give it. He won't see your lack of wisdom as an opportunity to scold you over your failures, but he will overwhelm your failures with his generous grace. Hmm, I like that. So, P, prayer, let us pray. Heavenly Father God, we thank you for wisdom and good old fashioned common sense. And we want these things in our life, Lord, so we can live daily, living the good life and doing the right things that will bring honor to you and credibility to us. And so we ask, Lord, just as James said, we ask for wisdom. We know that you won't scold us about it. We know that you love us so much that you'll give us wisdom above everything else but you'll give us very good blessings 
on top of it and besides that and you have done and i thank you god for that and so today lord each one of us needs wisdom and good old-fashioned common sense as we apply these principles to our lives today whatever we face whatever we've got to do whatever we've got to say heavenly father give us wisdom to do it for your honor and glory and in Jesus' name we pray thank you lord amen thank you folks i'll see you next time